We're back. You recording? Okay. Yes, I'm recording this time. We're doing it for real. It's the Anime Boys. <laughs> this is. Do you is Donkey Kong sixty four Weeby? No, it's an English game. See, that's what I thought. Or like it's from United Kingdom. It's this, like the least. Weeby this thing. is like the least Weeby. Boy when I think of like anti Weeb, I think of like United Kingdom. I think America is more Weeb. Oh yeah, the I think the UK. Well, the UK is mad at China now. They're not letting China do the 5G anymore. Oh, um, So Huawei, which is like the Japanese, like or the Chinese backed, you know. Oh, that's was that where the coronavirus? Huawei. Huawei or how? What are you saying? Huawei. Is that, are you saying the province where coronavirus? No, oh, okay. um, it's a no, it's a it's a company that oh, okay. that does like 5G stuff, and it's basically funded by the Chinese government. Speaking um, of conspiracies, is, aren't people saying that 5G like gives you cancer or something? Oh yeah. People are saying 5G is giving you cancer, 5G is going to make you gay, 5G is Am gonna... I mistaken that that same thing happened with 4G? Um, people that said probably, that it happens you... with cell phones. People said that 4G was going to give you cancer, too? Oh yeah, it, I mean, it's going to happen with everything, no matter what. This everything so gives weird. you cancer, everything gives you... I don't, like, this is such a weird box. This is a bad boss fight, I think. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it would have been better as, like, an individual challenge. Yeah. Than a boss fight. Because it's really not testing your skills... I think a, bo a good boss fight should test your skills of the game. Not that this game has advanced combat, but it should be something to related to what you've been doing. Yeah. Can I jump over that shot? I'm very sorry. It should be something related to what you've been ah! doing throughout the game. And this is just its own independent thing. And I don't yeah, like this would be a fun, like, kind of like the cart minigame. I don't like time limits on boss fights either. It's kind of scary, though. I like the design of the Yeah, the puffer fish. fish is great. This is an example, I think it's because it's a top-down view, it works better. This is an example where the, late, the rain and the lighting, I think, works well. I think in other parts of the game, it can just be kind of hard to see and kind of confusing. But because you have this perspective, I think it's pretty straightforward. It works this time. Where you have to go, what you have to do. Although, again, it's not something that's really... Exp I think if you die... Mr. Parrot or whatever will come and like give you a hint. Oh, is that? Let's hope so. Nope. No, that didn't do anything. I hope I don't have to do this more than one time. I um. You what? I like the like everybody kind of makes fun of like oh you just do something three times and then it dies. I don't mind that for a, a boss battle like this where it's like really not. Like, the point of the game isn't really boss battles, so, like, I don't mind boss battles being easy in a game like this. No, and also, I kind of like the rule of threes with that, because then you kind of know what to expect. Yeah. I mean, in games like that, it's going to be like Mario or Donkey Kong where they don't have health bars, so you kind of know your progress. Okay, I got to hit him one more time. Yeah. That's good to know. Oh Whereas this is five times, and it's like, eh, I don't know if it needs to be five times. It's tiny now, and it's timed, and I can't. <clears throat> this is obnoxious. I don't oh. even know what that was. See, this, your boat is going, I just have to tap the throttle. Because if you hold it, your boat goes way too fast yeah. to hit these tiny things. That's, I know this is the last one, but this is obnoxious, and I'm already upset. We've got ten seconds to find okay, one more. Oh no. Oh no. This is the last one, I think. Uh oh oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. I thought I would... Oh, no, I died. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Gonna you got anything again. interesting to talk about while I do this? <laughs> um, I... So, Travis, Travis and I, um, are doing Virtue's Last Reward, which is a sequel to 999 soon. Mm -hmm. And, um, as is my brand, I completed it in an ungodly amount of time. I don't know how you, it's like, I, I feel like I play the game for an hour a day, and I'm like, oh, I'm playing a lot of games lately. <laughs> <laughs> See, for me, a lot of games is like five hours. I'm a busy man, dude. I'm a student now. Oh, you're a student? Yeah, I'm taking uh, online classes right now. Oh, that's exciting. What are you taking classes? I'm getting my TEFL certificate, which is oh. teaching English as yep. a foreign language. TEFL. TEFL. Or TEFL. Um... 
That's fun. That's exciting. Um, and that's good because you want to build up those skills from when you go to paint. Oh, I got time and it, uh, there was a sale. It was like down to like 250 bucks. Oh, nice. I am brushing up on my German still because I need to have a foreign do language you do, test. Do you do Duolingo? I do Duolingo. Do it, you know what I found out? What? Do it on your computer. It's a million times better than doing it on your phone. See, I, that's what I want to do too because there are, there are times where it's like you have to translate something and it's like, oh, it's so, it's just not... It's not hard, it's just like frustrating to do it in your phone sometimes. Well on mobile they um on mobile they always have a word bank, at least for the Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. And that makes it too easy. If you do it on computer, you have to actually legitimately translate. Mm. Um gotcha. also and type I, I thought it was really hard at first. I used to think typing on a phone in Japanese is really hard, but I kinda got used to it. Mm. Typing on a computer with Japanese. I mean, with German, do you have special characters? Is it hard to um, There is an umlaut, but if you don't use it, they'll just, they won't deduct anything from you. They'll just say, like, hey, make sure you spell it correctly. With Japanese, you have to, like, do each sound phonetically. So, like, ka, a, mm -hmm. and you combine those, and then you have to, like, go through this little menu that pops up and find out the correct kanji. Mm -hmm. So it can be a little cumberbund. Can you jump at all? Can I? Oh, I can. Well, I didn't know that. Over those. I didn't know that. That's good. Make things not different at all. Well, you can jump over those blue things now. He stops doing them after this point. So I was just trying to brute force through. Yeah. If I die again, I might just keep playing and then see if I can get the third uh, water one and do it again to make it easier. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. I don't even know if I can do Yeah. It's not like this is hard. I'm just playing very sloppily because I'm not engaged or happy. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> I, I, it's 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 not a good rhetoric for someone who plays a lot of video games, but I hate having to do something more than once. Like if I forget to save in a game and miss an hour oh my God. of I progress, I'll like never play the game again. Yeah, that happens to me, especially when I was a little kid and I like wasn't didn't pay as much attention to what was going on. That happened um, to me with Persona Five. I played like the first like five hours and I didn't save, and then it took me like another two years before I even touched the game mm. again. What's nice is then you can skip all the dialogue sections, but... Yeah, still. which is, even if you're rapidly hitting A as quickly as possible, that's still, like, hours of your <laughs> yeah. life. Um... Oh! Oh! Oh, Ah! Take it slow. Oh, maybe I should be using the jump in these corners, but... What is that guy doing? I don't know how I'm supposed to go that. This isn't even the last one, though. Is this? No, this is the second to last one. Oh, this is frustrating. There it is, there it is. Hey! Oh, no, I still got it. No, I still... Was that it? Oh! I thought that was the second one. Oh, never mind, that's not bad at all. That's fun. Pufferfish popping, instant comedy. He's flat, also really funny. Yeah, classic. A lot of wins on the stage right here. We're making solid progress in this game. I don't even think we've I think we're, like, done with this world, too, now. At this point. No, yeah, I don't see any reason to come back here. I'll probably get most of the bananas in Fungi Forest and Creepy Castle, because I really like those levels. Travis, what do you think... Uh, I'm thinking of underrated yeah. N64 games. What do you think? N64 has one of the smallest libraries of any video game I can think of. If I'm not mistaken, I think in the U.S. it has somewhere between, like, 297 and 301 depending on how you count. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of hard to find hidden gems. It's kind of a wonky game, but I really like that one, um, Space Station, Silicon Valley. Oh, yeah, I want to play that one. It plays that different animals. Fun. It's kind of, like, glitchy, and not, it doesn't work 100%, but it's just, like, a cute little platformer, and I just like controlling different animals. It's a cool concept. Um, basically nothing Nintendo first party. I think that'd be too yeah. mainstream to pick. Did you ever I haven't played Paper Mario on the N64. I wonder that's if that's like any super good. mainstream. It's good. If it's you, mainstream, but I've never played it. If you've know? played Thousand Year Door, you don't need to play it. Thousand Year Door gotcha. is everything. I guess some people might like the original better, but I think it's the same game, but just like everything's cleaner and tighter and the story's a little better. Um, some people really like it, though. It's long. It's probably like a 35, 40 hour game. Really? That turns me off now. I can't handle games that are that long. <laughs> which is which is tough when we're playing visual novel games. Uh, At least they don't make you redo that much stuff. In that that's one. true. Yeah, and they... Well, we'll talk about it when we do the podcast. They make it nicer to travel through the game, too, in the second one. Um, but yeah, I... 
I started playing Dishonored right now just because I like wanted. What some... is Dishonored? It's like a. It was a game made in like the early 2010s, very similar to like Bioshock. Oh. But it's it's more so like focused on gameplay, and I'm like I kind of want to play something that's just like I don't need to read anything. I just kind of play it. Yeah, I was thinking about playing Spyro to balance out. Ooh, uh, that's a fun one. Virtue's last reward. Um, I hate the title, by the way. I I don't. I've completed the game, and I still don't know how it applies to the game. So. I guess uh, I guess they couldn't have called it like nine 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 two. Wouldn't have been a great title either. <laughs> eighteen eighteen eighteen. <laughs> they could have thought of something better. Yeah. Or maybe the Japanese name makes more sense. I have to look at it. Yeah. Let's see. I'm still thinking of N64 games. It feels like there's like forty like mainstay N64 yeah. games that everybody has played. Yeah. And then it's kind of hard to think beyond that scope. I the one I had that a lot of people hadn't played was uh, Army Men: Sergeant oh, Heroes. Yes. That one's a good one. I there's two, there's one and two, and I had both of them, and they're yep. both really good. I uh, had that's two. another one of those things I was talking about when we were doing Chibi Robo. Is there's something just really fun about being a tiny person? And you're like controlling. Same thing with Toy Story, just like being in the environment of everyday stuff, but. But it's like different because you're a different size. That I'm the second one. I don't know if they do this in the first one, but in the second one, it's like you are in like the army men world, and then there's like a portal to the real world. And so like the first one, you go in as a bathtub, and then like you go into a garden later. And in one of them, you like are in a living room, but it's like yeah. a Christmas theme, which is cute. And it's fun to just be like, um, just to have something where it's like, oh, like. It's an army guy, but he's, like, fighting a spider because the spider's huge. <laughs> like, that's cute. You I know what really sucked? First of all, two other little gems. They made an... Oh, there's something I gotta do with that. Do I just have to play my... Bazunga? Um... That's cute they gave him the triangle. <laughs> Wait, did I give Kalumzi both the keys? Do I have to do it a second time? Mm hmm. Maybe I missed something. I could have sworn that that had to break. Um, anywho. This anywho. is this is some conspiracies that always upset me. First okay. of all, they made a GameCube Army Men game. And I really liked the ones on Nintendo 64, so I remember being a kid and buying the GameCube one and being super excited. The GameCube one is entirely in, like, the Army Men world. So everything is scaled as if you're a human. Uh, and everything's that. And it's super lame. I think they were trying, because, you know, Call of Duty and everything was going to be popular. They are yeah. trying to make, like, a more shooter. But that takes all the fun out of it. Second of all, there was a, uh... There was an RTS using the... Oh, excuse me. A real-time strategy game. Yes! Using the, um... The Army Men. Weird. And it was also on GameCube. I think it was is on there, PlayStation 2. Do you have to fly over there? I... This earpiece is supposed to break if I'm not... Um, mistaken. And that's maybe how something's below. There. Maybe what's below it? I think there's a pad somewhere I have to hit. Um, I'll figure it out in a second. Um, I'm gonna stop at Kalumzi's too, just to make sure. Oh, what is that? And the RTS was kind of scary. It was really cool because that was all scaled correctly. They're in like backyards and stuff. It was kind of scary. The bad guy was like a like a like a melted plastic army man, and he was like, mm. I think he was supposed to be a parody of Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. He was oh. supposed to be like they were like in Vietnam, and he got all fat. It was I don't know. It was really um, that was a really charming game. I really liked. It. I'm gonna. Was that for the GameCube? I think it was for GameCube PS2 and computer. Oh, I've never no. heard of it. I should do a little. Recon. I can't think of what it's called, but it's, it's a real time strategy. The one is called Sarge's War. That's the one mm. that's lame. Don't get that one. No, I won't. I, I, I Sarge's Heroes is fun. See, you've got it already. I you? wouldn't be surprised. Oh, looks like all the locks are hit. I know there's a golden banana you can get in here, but I don't think that's. I beat the Ooh. toy guy, right? Yeah. Okay, six, seven, eight. No, this is a thing with Lanky Kong to get up. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah. You have to run to this and run back. But that doesn't matter to me. Um, oh, that's still, that's a classic. That's good. Yes, yes. Other hidden, other hidden gems on the N64. It is kind of crazy, like, how many people love the Nintendo 64. Like, I'm one of them. And there is so few games. But it that great, also gives it more it of an identity. A, it had almost. a great live. Yeah, it's very. You can look at a screen and immediately tell the difference between a PlayStation 
an N64 game just because of how the graphics are built and how they're stylized. It's kind of like the Wii 2 in a way, where it's like, it feels... And I yeah. feel like maybe this is that's why the Switch also is doing so well, is because it feels like the console itself has its own like identity yeah, too. Yeah, it's part of it. Um, whereas like with the Wii U and then with the GameCube, I think part of maybe why it wasn't so successful is because it felt a little more generic. See, I'm pretty darn sure I gotta blow this up, but I don't... Uh, oh! Maybe it's in the... Um, it might be in the entrance for Funky Kong... Toy Palace or whatever, Frantic Factory. That might be it. I think I gotta pull some, some lever. I guess I didn't really explore the entrances to levels very much, and that may have been to the. Can that you track. go any further up on the island? On the that's how you, sour thing? That's how you. On this thing? Yeah. That's just to the very last level. Hmm. See, oh, is it pulling that? Well, there's a couple things I think I have to do here. But I don't. No, 100% if it's the exact way. I don't know if Pokemon Snap counts. Everybody played that. Pokemon Snap's good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the new one. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think it I'm looks I'm especially good excited too. because Game Freak isn't developing it. <laughs> well, yeah, because they didn't develop that one either. I think Hell Laboratories did. Yep. And I believe there was a studio that developed it that hasn't done anything else. I thought it was Bandai Namco. Oh! No, no the old one. I thought it was Hell. It was Hal, and then, oh, it was like something Beans. Oh, yeah, Frank and Beans. Frank and Beans, something yep. Something like that. It was just a banana. Hmm. I might have to figure it out a different... We'll see. I think it's maybe interacting with one of these pre level things. I don't think there's anything in this game that requires you to... Oh, you know what? There's a cannon, too. I don't think there's anything it might be the cannon, yeah. in this game that requires you to do something in a level, and then that, like, affects what happens outside the level. I think it's all pretty self-contained yeah. in that aspect. I think GameCube has a lot of cool hidden gems. Remember this game called uh, Adventure Island, which wasn't mechanically wonderful, but it was this really cool idea where you would draw your own hero and then use it to do mini games, mm. but it was more detailed than just like some of the other ones, like drawn to life, like that. Because you'd have to, you would draw the, like the front and back of every body part, and then put it in 3D, and it would kind of affect how they control. So again, Chibi Robo is a classic. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. No one played that game, but that game is awesome. That's the one where you use the bongos, not the music playing one. People get it confused. Yeah, I um, I remember. I got the Sonic Collection on Mega the collection? GameCube, yeah. and that one was really fun, really good. Um, I mean, that's not really a hidden gem, I guess, but, like, they have a collection on the game. Yeah, yeah I think there. it might be actually this canon. Um, but, and then it had, it also had other stuff, like, uh, the Mean Bean Machine, and, like, games like that that are a little more niche, which were also really fun, too. Whose is this? I can't see. It. Chunky. Chunky. I don't know why I thought you had to jump on that ear. Maybe that's for something. I'm yeah, pretty maybe sure this takes later. you to yeah. Hey, -o. this is the fun guy forest. Yeah, we'll just check it out and see. Before. Yeah, still in this. Just see what's going on. Us. Um, have you seen any other uh, movies or anything lately? We talked about Hamilton a couple episodes ago. Um, I watched the new uh, JG Quintel show called uh, Close Enough. On What's HBO that Max. Well, JG Quintel did a regular show. Oh, gotcha. And then he did a show together that's kind of like a more, like, kind of down to earth family type thing. I think regular show is something that was very much for people in like their late teens and twenties. And this is a show, obviously, more aimed at people in their thirties. Yep. Uh, it's okay. It's not as funny as regular show, and it's not as like dramatic or intense. And I. I think they carry over a lot of choices from regular show that made sense for that. Regular show, the whole gimmick was, okay, something happens, it's an everyday mundane issue, and then it gets turns into something weird, and it shows about how, you know, we sometimes build up things in our mind to be more complicated or convoluted than they actually are. Um, they used a lot of licensed music for that show, and it was like, okay, these guys are kind of stuck living in the past, they're 20-somethings, and they work at a park their entire life. 
So it's kind of showing to represent that. I mean, they carry over a lot of these decisions, but it doesn't really make sense when it's about a husband and a wife with their kid in L.A. Um, it's got Jason Mantazukas, which is a win and a lose. He's <laughs> talented, but I can only hear Big Mouth when he talks now, so I hate him. I, he, he is a very... Um, he's funny, he's talented, but I hate Big Mouth so much. <laughs> so he, he's one of the, the worst the things his, I've ever watched. The way, like, his acting is like... It's like, you have to be in the right mood for it. He, in the show, his character makes more sense. He plays uh, a professor who used to teach at, like, um, uh, whatever, University of California, and then mm. he becomes a professor at, like, a, a community college. The thing about the show is, and I think I read something that during production they were changed from doing 22-minute episodes to 11-minute episodes. Oh. And um, it keeps the pacing up fast, but it also feels like... Everything you see is only exactly what you needed to see. Mm -hmm. so there's no supplementary character information. There's no supplementary jokes. It's kind of like what only what needs to be there. Um, I would watch a second season because I'd like to see it. And I think he's a really talented creator. But that show was not a win for me. That was an L. Ooh, taking the L. Um, I am still watching Avatar because I spend all my time playing games. And I don't really watch too much. I'm, I'm playing... But after that, I kind of want to watch At Home with Amy Sedaris. Just because I... That's not something that I would sit and watch just like through as a series. It's something I would just... It's like documentary now or something yeah. like that, that I would just pop in every now and then. Yeah, that's what... I, I want to like watch an episode just because I've always wanted to see it, but I haven't seen it yet. So like, that's just something I want to see. Um, Have you ever watched a documentary now? I've only seen the Grey Gardens episode, which is like the first episode. It's really good. It's really funny. They have a Kate Blanchett one. I watched it at the gym at the YMCA, <laughs> and it was like the very end where they were like all beaten, eaten by zombies, and, or like by the people and stuff, and I was at the YMCA in Hudson. <laughs> this level, this, just this music and just like looking at this level, I think it is kind of obvious that it was designed as a Banjo-Kazooie yeah. level. I, I like it though, because how it works with the warp pads. Like, it makes sense to have a central hub mm -hmm. and then have everything expand out, which I think this one does pretty well. Whereas the other levels, sometimes that's a little hard to understand exactly where all the pads go to. It's cool to explore what changes between night and day as mm -hmm. well. Oh yeah, I forgot they do that with this movie. Let's see, I, I'm watching a lot of TV. I also watched The Boys, Ooh. which is an Amazon show. Kind Superhero of, show based off of a comic, but it's supposed to be like different. It's more about like it uses superhero stuff as like its setting, basically. Yeah. Like they have like a like a Justice League type thing, but if you don't know anything about superheroes like I do, it's still enjoyable because it's more about like capitalizing war and criticizing government and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Which I'm like, okay, this is more interesting. That was pretty good, talented acting. That's good. I'd watch a second season of yeah. that. I'm sure they'll get one. I think it was actually pretty popular. My standards are kind of low, though. I don't mean I guess I have low standards. Because even if I don't like something, I'll like watch it second season. Because it's like, what if it gets good? And then I'll watch <laughs> it third season. Because I'll be like, okay, maybe finally they got it. See, but know. that's that makes us opposites, though, which is good. Because I'll do that for games, and you'll do that for TV. Which I think is good. Games? I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, games are demanding from me. I guess part of it is like I, I don't... I feel really uncomfortable if I don't have a game finished. Mm -hmm. So if I'm leaving it sitting, it's like a like an uncomfortable thing to me. So mm -hmm. I have to make that commitment that like, okay, I'm gonna put time and energy into finishing this if I do. Like it was, it, I was going on the long battle back and forth about whether or not I was going to do Persona 5R. And I, I purchased that yesterday. And I'm like, you know what? I got all the time in the world, plus it'll help me learn more about Japanese culture, <laughs> even though I've played the game already. Because <laughs> I've committed to that. That's You know what? That's I, I committed to taking that TEFL course. Mm -hmm. That's a 120-hour course. Persona 5R will be the same commitment. I'll be putting as much of my life into getting my certification as I will be playing that game. Well, Persona 5 will go a little faster now that you've it'll be the, it. How? The cutscenes are still the same length. Well, you can skip them. Can I? Because I have to be like, is what's different? Because that's the whole thing, is I can't skip oh. anything. Because I have to... The, one of the main reasons is I want to know, okay, did they... Because there's... Persona 5 is a great game, but I think there's a lot of things they could fix with doing this expansion. 
And I went, now I gotta pay attention to every detail to see what they fixed and what they didn't fix. Mm. And I can justify that mentally because we're probably gonna be doing a podcast about it. We will. We will. And it'll be good because we'll compare Persona 4 and Persona 5. And we'll have, we'll, we'll wait for Cusack and, um, and Eli. Mm. We, run, we the want the whole about, squad. Finish the game in about a million years, I bet. It, it's here's the thing about the game the pacing it's like the first um dungeon is pretty engaging and then i feel like the second and third it kind of loses you and then fourth fifth sixth you kind of get back into it but there's there's definitely a lot same thing with uh virtues let same thing with virtues last reward it kind of depends what uh route you're doing mm -hmm. is how engaging it is yeah and it was the same problem with that except it's not a problem that's how the game's supposed to be by design but if I'm not completely enamored every second, I get frustrated. <laughs> See, and that's how I feel about TV a lot. And movies. I don't know why. I just am, I am the way I am. and It's such, a, sh it's such a, a shorter investment, though. I know, which is so weird. Do you ever work out anymore? Um, I haven't worked out, like, at the gym... Cause I don't, I don't want to risk anything right now. Um, I might, well, depending on how Milwaukee is, in the, you know, by September. No, it's, uh, it's gonna be bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm filling you in on that right now. Like, if there's a if, it's, it's gonna be. I mean, you can go to the gym here in Hudson. There's like three people there, and everybody wears masks. Milwaukee, if gyms are open, there's gonna be a hundred people there. None of them wearing masks. Yeah. So whatever if you got in your head, it's not gonna be good. It was crazy. My friend Allie, she went to the Como Zoo. Yeah. And there was nobody there. She saw 10 people in the two hours that they were there. When did she go? She went last Wednesday. Just Probably like just the... reopened. Yeah, maybe. Oh, what was that? Is there just telling oh, me that's there's that a teeny one for Dixie. Gotcha. You know, it's a tiny oh, hole tiny. for oh, my tiny gosh, car. I'm sorry. It's weird oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, because you can also get homing ammo. That's what that is. Everything here is tiny. I think I want to wait that to pour this night. one at some night. Yeah. I'm just again, it's kind of like with Rumi Galleon, because I'm trying to just open everything up. So then next time we play, I can so you can do a full exploration. I have to get more bananas. And the here. pad is over here, to the right. The pad. Yep. This. Yep. Did I have it yet? Okay. I'll probably get this. I'll, I'll see what's going on with this lanky pad, and we'll call it a day. Yeah, but I want to see. Oh no, that's nighttime. Okay, let's see what I can go in here. I want to accomplish one more task. Okay. But yeah, I um, I I need to watch some good TV, and I haven't done that. So. That's you just watch game shows. I don't just watch game shows. What's but the, what's I'm fascinated by game, what's game shows. What's something you've watched in the past month that wasn't a game show? Avatar. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised Which is you good. still haven't finished Avatar, though. It's pretty short. Oh, yeah. It's, it's short. But again, it's like, I think about, like, how I mostly watch... So, I... Oh, speaking of working out. Um, I go on walks every day. So, like, obviously, I'll listen to music or podcasts when I do that. If it's, like, really bad out, where it's, like, really rainy or it's really hot, I'll go on the bike in my basement. And there I'll watch Avatar. I'll watch Avatar when I'm doing the dishes or when I'm like eating or something. But you can't but just I don't sit really, and watch it. See, I, I like, hate that. I hate that. I don't know. I, I don't mind sitting and watching, but like for me, it's like if I'm sitting and doing something, it's like I kind of want to play a game. Well, I'm thinking it's like if I, if I want to do something that needs my divided attention, I'll listen to a podcast or an audiobook. Yeah. Yeah. But if I'm watching a movie or TV, I, I should give that my whole... Well, like I sat down for 90 minutes and I watched uh, Anima Lisa yesterday, and that was like, it was not difficult for me to say 90 minutes to just, that's my focus. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've, I've watched, what's the last one? I probably watch a movie almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> See, I couldn't do that. I don't, for some reason, it just like does not work for me, but teach their own. I kind of like watching movie movies more in theaters anyways. Like, I don't mind watching them at home, but I, I kind of like I have the a sour experience. taste because every time I see a movie in a theater, it's horrible. So. Well, that's... Yeah. It's like, oh, we it's went good. saw Parasite. That was good. No, we saw I The Favorite see, together. No, I saw Hustlers. Her favorite was good. We saw yeah. Hustlers, Sonic. I saw Aladdin in theaters. I saw... Well, that's that's because you're, know, you're knowingly partaking in bad cinema. 
I'm just trying to keep up with the Johnsons. The Joneses. The Johnsons. Okay, I think we got, yeah. we got some fungus yeah. going on here. We'll come back another day, another time. Another place. Yeah.